Welcome back. We have uh, Betsy and Barbara here to talk about the annual dog show over in Harrison, Arkansas. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the show. Lucky there. And then we've got Utah and Spike with us. And everyone remembers Utah. Don't want to get him too riled up because he'll be in my lap. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Now, will these dogs be entered into the show? They're just for your show, right? Um, we don't enter our own dogs because the people who are important at the show, it doesn't look well if they would win. Uh, oh, but you, these right? are show dogs. Oh, yes. He's a champion, yes. So oh, where, where do you compete? I mean, where do you oh, show your dogs? I was out. just up in Wisconsin. Okay, so you go out of the area? Yes. Okay. Yes. Up Springfield, Missouri mm -hmm. in the fall. We go out of the area. But when you go show your dogs, mm -hmm. do you feel pretty confident that you'll win something? <laughs> or you just want to, you just like the, the hobby well, of showing? I, I myself just enjoy talking to people. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you learn when you go to an event like that? Well, I'm usually meeting up with old friends. Okay, all right. Well, it's a, so, it's a social it. event for you. It is. It is a social event for me, and I also judge St. Bernard. So okay. I mean, I I like to watch other specialty judges judge them to see what they're doing. When you when you you're specialized in St. Bernard's, what do you see in in a, in a St. Bernard? What do you what do you look for? I am looking for proper confirmation, a nice head, good movement, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and different disposition is very very important. I believe. Um, Does that rank on a, on a score sheet somewhere? No, we don't do it that way, but some people do it in their head. Some yeah. judges tend yeah. to do that. They'll have certain things they like better than others. Mm -hmm. you know. And, and I always had the issue of, I found that the animals that I used to raise didn't have the best fronts in the world. So if I find a nice front, I will lean towards a nice front. You know what do you mean by a nice front? Uh, proper construction front. front. Yeah. Wow. Chest watched, part of the, yeah. yeah. A lot of dog shows on TV, and they always seem to just make such snap decisions. You know, they all they run around, and boy, the guys. I'm thinking, you haven't even looked at them, because but so there's a lot of back behind the scenes yes. stuff that yes. goes on before you actually mm -hmm. get before in the show. Before you ever get to okay. that aspect of it, mm -hmm. that's that's just the end of a dog show. Okay. Because it's going on all day long, where each one of them have their own class. Saint Bernard. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're all judged by themselves, and they have to wait till the afternoon. Mm -hmm. And they compete, mm -hmm. in, and that's where you start seeing it at, on TV. As yeah. they start doing the groups. Mm -hmm. I mean, but it's been going on all day long. But it's an ideal that you're shooting for, because yes. I know last year when Lita was on here, and I said, "Are you just looking for the prettiest dogs?" You Sandy, and she corrected me right yeah. away, yeah. because it, it's not which dog is the best, not just which dog is the best of their breed, the best right. reputation of, of their, their breed, breed. Of their right? Breed. Mm -hmm. And that just, like I said, we watch them all the time at home. Um, I enjoy the, the dog shows. And But Spike is a winner too, isn't he? Yes, he is. And he he's has just a baby. Two he, years old? He is two years old. He finished his championship last October. And um, we're waiting right now for him to grow up. Mm -hmm. Barbara, we're, your microphone is not on. Let, let, uh, let you on. Hand you that. I'm sorry about that. There. We'll check no, that out after that. the break. But now oh, you can yeah, feel like, you know, Wayne Newton or Don't Shane and all that yeah. kind of good stuff. I'm a very shy person. Oh. So, so the dog show in Harrison's coming up when? It will be Easter weekend, which is 23rd and 24th. Okay, so about yes. a month away, almost a month no, away. No, no, two weeks. Oh, two I'm weeks. sorry, this this month. This okay. Man, usually usually we, we schedule these events where there's there's plenty of time to promote them, so, but well, it's coming is. up real soon. Yes. Okay. Yes. So they'll watch this next week. It'll be that weekend so they can That's go. That's what we did last year, yeah. too, because it was okay. Utah's birthday last year. All right. We did it. And his birthday is tomorrow. Oh, there. Boy. Okay. There now goes. get a good look at Utah. Back that camera up and get a good look at Utah here as he walks. Okay. He walks. Come on. Sit you know, the one thing about Utah is when, Utah. He, when he wants to move, yeah. you just get out of his way. Well, when <laughs> folks come to the Kennel Show, uh, Kennel Club Show next week, what will they see? I mean, can we go and watch each? We have 96 different breeds coming. Competing. So there will be a whole lot of different dogs. You get to come, come early in the morning. You'll see the dogs compete within their breed, okay. and then in the afternoon you'll see the groups and best in show. Where they actually, you know, dance them around and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. They yeah. they do that in the breeds too. Oh, they do that in the breeds too. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Do, do they? Do you physically measure? Um, no, but the judges will put their hands on the dogs because a lot of times, especially a heavily coated dog mm -hmm. like a Chow Chow, you know, you can't quite see what's under there. But they can feel it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, we also have we have a raffle, mm -hmm. and we have all sorts of nice stuff to raffle off. Um, we're having a seminar Friday night, um, and we have vendors that come in that specialize in dog dog equipment. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you want a special lead or a special brush or special shampoo, they carry yeah. mm -hmm. a wide variety of things. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. And yeah. also, you can walk around where the people are groom grooming the dogs and talk to them about them mm -hmm. in the grooming area. Mm -hmm. I mean, now, uh, when people come uh, uh, 
typically they'd be dog lovers. Can they bring their dogs? No. Do you, you don't want that to happen? Unentered uh, dogs aren't supposed to be there. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. that could at, be, and that's mm-hmm. something they would know, I think. Um, I mean, it's, it happens. It's they need to, it, yeah. It, it, yeah, yeah. They should okay. know that, but the the normal public doesn't realize it. We mm-hmm. did. I think it was last year. Somebody came in with a puppy, and I had to ask him to leave. So it doesn't matter how. So I mean, it's the one you carry around. No, a no. puppy. You don't want to risk them getting an illness. Okay. It was, you know, because okay. you never know if they've got, had all their shots or anything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. Well, I, I, in, in years past, I've been to the dog show over in Harrison. It's it's a huge event. There's people come in from all over. Yes, mm. there are. It's mm. always well attended. So, is there an admission fee for ge- the general public? Yes, it's it's two dollars a carload. Whoa. A carload. Well, that's oh, a cheap that's car load. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. How yes. do you determine who the carload is? They, they just, um, is they just take the money at the gate. They just okay. take the money at the gate, and, and if it's exhibitor, like. they all have their their it's papers like. to yeah. show that they don't yeah. have to pay anything. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. And it's yes. nice to have the public come in and learn. Yeah. Yes. Can, you, can you come and go? Or yes. was it so once you come in and like get stamped maybe or if you left to go eat lunch, would you have to pay two bucks? Like two bucks is so you, minor. Well, there's but, food there. You wouldn't food have there? to oh, leave. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we really we just collect money in the morning. Yeah, okay. usually in the morning. Okay. Mm-hmm. So pretty pretty laid back. So yes. Now it is, is this around where they go on to larger judging? Is this or is this just no. this is just a read so this is an end. This is an end. This, this is, is an end. actual show. So it's a regional competition of some sort or N- no, it's it it's it's a normal AKC show. Mm-hmm. Um, when you see some of them on TV, they'll talk about grand champion shows and things. Those are ones that are pinpointed out for them to go on to other events, to okay. be invited but, so to other events. So there are dog shows like that where you win but those at one are, level. There's only like four or five of yeah. those across the country. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you can enter one anywhere in the nation that, mm-hmm. that yes. you want to go or anything like that. Well, cool. last year um, after we did our show, Spike went out to Oregon and competed. Mm-hmm. So. Good. Well, is there a, a, a brand of dog, a breed of dog, I guess I should say, that wins a lot more than others? Seems like poodles and stuff mm. always win. I'm a dachshund lover, and little dachshunds never win. Uh, right now, <laughs> one of the bigger winners are some boxers. We're seeing a lot boxers. of boxers taking best in show. Well, there's a couple yeah. of really nice mm. boxers. Yeah, yeah, there's a couple well, of really are nice be- boxers. They have beautiful lines. Dox- yeah, they do. Boxers have such muscle, and they're lean and, and, and beautiful lines. But you said it's personality. And there's, there's certain, that, there's certain breeds that tend to win more than other breeds. Mm-hmm. Um, St. Bernard's don't win Best in Show very often. Once in a great while, they mm-hmm. will, but not very often. Mm-hmm. But you'll Welsh see. Welsh Springers don't either. Yeah, Welsh really? Springers don't either. They're they're not. Our breed is not an exuberant breed. You know oh, how okay. some of the terriers they just kind of really spark Looks and the, yeah. yeah, and they have that attitude. That's not really something that's bred in either one of these breeds. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're these both. This is a working breed. This is a hunting breed. Mm-hmm. They're they're bred to work. Yeah. Well, Spike's coloring is just beautiful on his nose. So in his particular breed, coloring matters too, don't they? No, have to. It they doesn't. Have to, no, they have to be red and white. Any that's pat, it. Any pattern mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. acceptable. But now some too. dogs there has to be a particular yes. pattern. Yes, you there is. Something shows up. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. For instance, um, the English Springers that are typically black and white, mm-hmm. they've really gotten away from the freckles. If you see them nowadays, they don't have the freckling like mm-hmm. Spike does on his nose. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's just something that they have uh, just bred, bred out. out. Their preference is all it was. Mm-hmm. What is the oddest breed that you've seen out there? It's something that's Oops. rare or... The kind of corsos. Yeah, we uh, have we have um, um, I'm one of the newer breeds. We've got five of them got new on breeds? Saturday. Oh, yeah. Yeah. new AKC, breeds all the time? New case, really? AKC, AKC, I'm sorry, it's always bringing in recognizing other breeds maybe they've been recognized over in europe and that places yeah, before yeah, but they have to be here. recognized here and 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 i'm going to probably say this wrong it's dog de bordeaux dog de bordeaux there we got five was, of them entered and that's what's it a, a mix of I that's mean. that's hooch from turner yeah. and hooch that yeah. big oh the sloppy yeah, really? yeah yeah yes and that's that's the new breed that's one of the newer breeds huh. yes. yes and, and we have five entered i think on saturday, on saturday. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh-huh. cool. well we have some neighbors that have labradoodles is that a legitimate breed uh, that's no, what you want to call what they're calling the boutique dogs just people uh-huh. breeding two different breeds together they're really nothing but mutts really they well these <laughs> dogs are just adorable because oh, they look like big poodles are. and they're very smart yeah. Yeah. they are the, the the downside of something like that is that, you know, these dogs have been bred for hundreds of years, mm-hmm. and 
you really take a risk yeah. with just one breeding. Yeah. You don't know what you're going. You don't know what for sure you're going to get out of. How long does it take to? Because you say there are new breeds developed. How long does it take to develop a breed? I mean, generations. You, yes. You and, yes. and to prove it to AKC, it, it's years and years and years that they can show that they're looking alike. Yeah. Like she's talking about, if you turn around and take that Labradoodle and you would breed that, you'd have no idea. No what it idea what it would look mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. It could be. Yeah. It could look like a lab or it could look like a poodle. Mm -hmm. where there wouldn't be a consistency of the two together. Yeah. Interesting. So when people come out, they, they're going to see a, a wide range of, of different breeds out there. I counted before I left home. There's 96 different breeds entered at our show this year. How that's many amazing. dogs total? Do you have any idea? Uh, 430. Man, wow. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is and a lot. And this is going to be at the fairgrounds, is that right? At the in fairground Harrison. in here. What time does it uh -huh. start? Uh, 9 o'clock in the morning. Nine o'clock in the morning. It'll it all goes day. all day yeah. long. It'll run. Yes. It'll run. The, the groups will start probably about two o'clock, mm -hmm. 145, two o'clock, mm -hmm. something like that. And we don't have the actual. This is two days. Is it a two, day? two, day. two, two days? Two days. Yeah. Okay. Two days. So Saturday okay. and Sunday or Friday and Saturday? Saturday and Sunday. Saturday okay. and Sunday. Okay. So Easter Sunday. It'll be on Easter Sunday and our, our entries drop a little bit. Uh -huh. I mean, which is understandable. We do have sunrise service out there, so there mm -hmm. is a, well, a service good. for people who are there to be able to Is there to any hunt, hunting of eggs what, out there somewhere? Pardon? Hunting eggs. Do you hunt, hunt eggs? Okay. Easter egg. Pikes is roll. <laughs> He's just rolling no, over. No, no, we will have we a few Easter far. decorations okay. around, yeah. right. and, and we do hand out some special things during the groups. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We, well, we, we want to encur encourage everyone to come out. Yes. And that's yes. The, 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 what dates again? 23rd and 24th. 23rd and 24th, Saturday April. and Sunday of April, not April. May. Mm -hmm. Of April. And uh, April. bring a, bring a, your whole neighborhood, pack them in a car. It's yes. going to cost you two For bucks two to get bucks. in. It is. All right. Wow. And then come <coughs> August, we'll come back. But in August, we're going to have our first AKC sanctioned event in Mountain Home. Oh, that'll oh, be great. Oh, wow. At the that'll Mountain Home Fairgrounds. Come back, please. Obedience. Yes. Well, obe obedience. Well, obedience and rally. Cool. And that Very will be good. at the fairgrounds. So that this is, is our first year for doing that. That's good. So well, thanks so much for coming by. We appreciate it. And we'll, so we'll get a mm -hmm. we'll get a hand truck, and yeah. uh, <laughs> and haul Utah out of here. <laughs> yeah. uh, we're going to take a break, and when we come back, Brenda and Tom Putnam will be here. Don. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don. Don. D O N. <laughs> I'm going to get smacked by Don if I'm not careful. Don but that's Don, Putnam. and uh, he's uh, uh, he and his wife are here from the Mountain Creek Christian Family Retreat and Youth Camp. Stay with us.